Peace everyone, and thank you for coming back. Here is some more, awesome hikmat, from the Almighty Allah, which you have not heard it before, as I promised to tell you about it. As you know, prophets, come with scriptures, and they start preaching people, right after they were assigned as a messenger. Then, why, Musa was not given, the Torah, when he went to Pharaoh? That is a good question, isn't it? Allah wants us to reflect on those oyat of the Quran. Here is another question. Among all those wicked rulers throughout the history, why, Allah chose Pharaoh? Do you know why? Here we go. When we are born, our destiny is already measured, and is recorded in a book called, Mother Book, or Master File, at Allah. And the Arabic Quran is one of the chapters, in that, Mother Book. Allah is the only one who knows the future. So, Allah knew that Pharaoh was going to be arrogant on earth. That is why Allah told Musa, that I made you for myself. In order to send him to Pharaoh. Also in another oh yeah, Allah said, I showered you with love from me, and I had you made, before my watchful eye. Do you realize what Pharaoh was going to do? Let us go back about 4000 years. Do you remember the covenant, that Allah made with Abraham? Allah told him, I will make you the leader of all the people. Abraham said, would it be for my descendants as well? Then Allah said, my promise does not include the wicked. In other words, Allah told Abraham 4000 years ago, that the nation of Abraham would become a wicked people. These are the hikmats of the Arabic Quran, and only Allah could teach you that. I am sure you have never heard this information before. I was given this information after 23 years of reading and studying and researching the Quran every day for hours. That is why we must read the Arabic Quran constantly every day, for hours. Zura 73. Now, this is the miraculous part of this scripture. Although you read it constantly, but at the beginning, it does not register into your heart for years until Allah permits the time of specific revelation to you. So, Allah knew that Pharaoh is coming, and he is going to be an arrogant on earth. Then at the same time Allah made Musa for himself. But, why? Because, Allah was going to make Musa confront Pharaoh and stop him for being arrogant on earth. But, why? Here is the awesome part. Remember, Pharaoh was going to kill the sons of Bani Israel, and rape their females. Do you know what that means? It means that, Pharaoh, was going to replace the nation of Abraham, with his own nation, by killing their sons, and raping their women. Did you see the movie The Land of Blood, and Honey, by Angelina, Jolie? That was a perfect example of what Pharaoh was going to do. Allah wanted to save the nation of Abraham, and keep them alive in order to fulfill his promise with Abraham, so he could keep transporting Abraham's nation to the end of this world. Yet, Pharaoh was going to destroy the nation of Abraham, and replace them with his own nation. That was a very crucial, and extremely important event in the history of religion. That is why Allah said to Musa, Go to an enemy of mine, and an enemy of yours enemy of mine, means that Pharaoh, was going to break Allah's promise with Abraham. If Pharaoh, would have killed the sons whom Allah would be transporting them, and raping their women, then there would be no nation, which Abraham, would be their leader, nor a nation that he would be their father. Yet, we would have the nation of Pharaoh. At that time, all of the twelve tribes of, Milati Abraham, were in Egypt. He became so arrogant that even his wife hated him. As we read from the Arabic Quran, Allah cites an example of those who believed, the wife of Pharaoh, or Musa's stepmother. She said, My lord, build a home for me at your garden, and save me from Pharaoh and his works, save me from transgressing people. That is why at that time the main theme of the story was, Let the Bani Israel go. Instead of giving Musa, the Torah, in order for his people to be guided. Allah says, we have chosen Pharaoh and his soldiers among all the people in the world, knowingly. So, 
Allah knew something, that I did not know, for, 23 years of reading the Quran. Allah chose them for a special reason. Now here is another sign from the Almighty Allah. There is only one Zura in the Arabic Quran called History. Well, guess what? That Zura is all about Musa and Pharaoh. And Allah called that Zura History. And Zura means, frame, what is in four walls, what is this chapter all about? Isn't it awesome? And the Zura before History is Zura, ants, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad. Toward the end of this Zura we read, this Quran narrates to the sons will be transported by Allah, many issues, that they are still disputing. Allah put Zura, history, in the Arabic Quran, in order for us to reflect, that why, Musa was given scripture, after, taking the nation of Ibrahim, out of Egypt. Allah wanted to assure us, and strengthen our given hikmat, about the wicked Pharaoh who wanted to replace his nation, with the nation of Ibrahim. Subhanallah. Also we read from Zura 28, that, family of Pharaoh, caught Musa from the water, in order for him to be an enemy of them, and a source of grief for them. Also we read, and indeed we gave Musa a scripture, after, we annihilated the previous generation, as a, reflection, for the people, and guidance and mercy, that they may take heed. Allah wanted us to reflect on that, a special situation. Now we know the reason why among all those cruel and vicious rulers in the world, Allah was pointing out to Pharaoh and his troops. Pharaoh was going to block Allah's system. This is because, Allah, the gracious, and the merciful was going to save the nation of Ibrahim, despite the fact that he knew they would be bunch of losers at the end. This was an awesome hikmat from Allah which no one knows about it. I left translations, and I totally depended myself, on Allah alone, in order for him, to teach me the literacy, and hidden hikmat, of his Arabic Quran, and make the Arabic Quran easy on my tongue, as he did for other believers. As this or yes says, if anyone thinks that Allah, cannot support him in this life, and in the hereafter, let him turn completely to heaven, and sever from anyone else. He will then see, that this plan, eliminates anything, that angers him. Ever since I started these videos, Allah has been blessing me with so many hikmats, and knowledge as we are going along, and you have been witnessing it as well. Allah is the only one, who could give us hikmat and knowledge. We found out that we should translate the Arabic Quran for our own. And Bani Israel, are not Jews, yet, they are, the sons will be transported by the all-powerful, Allah. And all of these today's religions, are fake and man-made. This, by itself, is a religion's whistleblower. And the name of our creator is, Allah, and not God. Jesus, is a made-up name, and his real name is, Esau, meaning, clock, the hour. Allah informed us that from, which or yard of the scriptures, people came up with those satanic fabricated books. And the hands and hearts of those who wrote those fabricated books beside, Allah's scriptures, should be cut off. And, zakat charity, should be 10%, and not 2.5%. And so many other information, which I will tell you about them later on, ensure Allah. Praise Allah, Lord of the Universes. As the Arabic Quran says, one would get these informations from the Quran, if he or she becomes motaha, or pure, and sincere. The reason is, because, Allah says, the pages of the Arabic Quran are, motaha. So, you must get to that degree of purity, in order to get hikmat from the Quran. Let us say the Arabic Quran is going with a very fast speed called, motaha. You must reach that speed in order to drive parallel to the Arabic Quran. Then, you are going side by side by the Quran, so you can get information from the Quran. Otherwise, if you read it thousands of times, you will never, ever, get any information. You must ask Allah to make you motaha. And read the Arabic Quran constantly, and asking Allah for his guidance and hikmat. Remember, only or yatov. The Arabic Quran, 
is motaha, and not any translation of the Quran. There is a word in the Arabic Quran, called, Al-Bab, which comes from the root word, Labab, meaning, the ones who are intelligent, has expert knowledge, distinction, diagnosis, recognition, perception, comprehension, apprehension, understanding, intuition, and so on. If you have these qualifications, you can see those hikmats in the Arabic Quran, and you can recognize, and diagnose the problems, and wrongdoings. This word is only for the righteous servants of Allah. And they are the only smart people in the world. And it is an awesome blessing for a person who has been blessed by this knowledge. This is another secret of this awesome scripture. Therefore, we should stop following whatever we were following before, and leave all those preachers, translations, religious leaders, and all of those fabricated books written by evil people and Satan. Because now we have the irrefutable scientifically proven untouched message from Allah. As Allah informed us, one of the names of the Quran, is Arabic. Otherwise he would have said, English Quran, or French Quran. So we should translate the Arabic Quran for ourselves, before our address changes. Here is another hikmat. As you know we perform our daily 17 units contact prayers, 5 times a day, in specific times, prescribed by Allah, except on Friday noon, which we commemorate Allah only, and then perform only 2 units prayers, which they are all mathematically confirmed. We have inherited these duties from the time of Ibrahim. But, I was always wondering since the most important number in Allah's system is 7, then why we do not pray 7 times a day? Then, 5 years ago I was inspired to perform one more, 4 units prayer, extra, just before going to bed. Then as I was reading Zura 17 of the Quran for maybe 2019th times, and then last year, Allah informed me of a new information. As you know, we do 17 units of prayers in a day. And Zura 17 named Laban Israel, meaning, for, the sons who will be transported by Allah, that means Allah is talking to, Mel Latte, Ibrahim. At the end of this Zura, Allah is telling us about the revelation of the Quran in Arabic language. And it says, that when it is read for people who believe, they fall prostrate and they say, so panna, rabina. And it also talks about the tone of prayers, which would be moderate tone. And then it says, call him, Allah, or call him, Al, Rahman. And then it says, say, Alhamdulillah. These are all the words that we use in our 17 units daily contact prayers. Now here is the awesome hikmat. In Oya 79, of this Zura 17, there is a word called, Dahaj Jod. Which means, getting up from sleep, in the middle of the night, in order to observe the contact prayer, Salot. And there is another word in this same Oya, which is, now Nalfailah. This word means extra, or for more credit. So, it says, get up, in the middle of the night, and perform contact prayer, so with that, you would acquire an extra credit. So that your Lord may raise you to an honorable position. Allah, be glorified. Then somehow, I was directed to read, the psalm, of Dawood. Then, I found in Zura 119, or yes 62, Dawood, says, I get up at night and I pray. Then in Oya 164, Dawood says, O Allah, I pray to you, seven times a day. And I have been performing my contact prayers, six times a day, and I have been getting up, in the middle of the night, for some years now, in order to read the Arabic Quran. That is, if you want to be amongst the allies of Ibrahim, and Muhammad, as Zura 73 commands. Therefore, at the middle of the night, before reading my Arabic Quran, I started to do another contact prayer for extra credit, as Prophet Dawood did. So that made it, total of 7 contact prayers in 24 hours. Again, these 2 extra prayers, are for more credits. This is how Allah directs us to the hikmat of his Arabic Quran. Allah be glorified. Now, you are going to see the Oyat of the Quran.
peace.